today I am showing you how to how to simplify to turn an improper number fraction to a mixed number. Okay. So an example would be eight or twenty eight. Mm, okay. Mom, what we have to do when you are when you are turning an improper uh, fraction to a mixed number. You have to divide first, then might subtract or minus. How many uh, eights are there in twenty? The answer is two. Copy the denominator as usual. First, multiply this the whole number in the denominator. So if my answer is sixteen minus twenty-four. My answer. There is still a, there is a, this could still be uh, simplified, mm -hmm. so we're gonna change it to two and one half. Let's try another one. Thirty three over uh four. So here's how I got the answer. So the answer on 33 fourths is 8 and 1 fourth. How did I get the answer? I'll tell you. Remember, you have to divide first and subtract second. Alright, get that in your, get that, put in mind or take notes. Make, when turning an improper fraction to a mixed number, Divide the first and subtract second. Another way on turning an improper fraction to a mixed number is dividing. No, not the simple way, like this. Use this illustration. So, an example would be 29 and 4. So, how many 4s are there in 29? If you don't know, if you don't know how to divide yet, the answer. If you're done counting, the answer is seven. Multiply seven and four. The answer is twenty-eight. Subtract, and then we get the remainder one. Yeah. That so the remainder is gonna be the numerator, and the one on top is gonna be our whole number. Copy the denominator. So our answer is seven and one fourth. Good job. Here's another improper fraction. This time it is given by myself. So you are you are going to divide twenty eight and six, or twenty eight over for five. So uh, we are, we are gonna divide again. So uh, this is a map. How, ma how many uh fives are there in twenty eight? Count by five. Place a five on top. Five times five, twenty five. So the, the faces that you can see around here are, of course, these are now twenty five minus twenty eight minus twenty five. Minus 20, uh, five. Three. Three. So uh, three is going to be our numerator, and five is our denominator, just copy it, and five will be our whole number. So, yes, so our answer is going to be five and three fifths. So, now that we are done with how to turn an improper fraction to mixed number, so let's start. We are going to do five problems. So the first one would be three and one, three and two eighths. What we have to do is a, uh, what we have to do is multiply first and then uh, so and then add second. So eight times three, so twenty four. And then uh, oh wait, add uh, two, six twenty six. And then add, and then copy the denominator. As I said, that is three and two eighths. We are gonna turn it into an improper fraction. So, for, so we have to 
add to multiply the the denominator and the, the whole number count by just count by eight so the answer is 24 add two Twenty-six. Then copy the denominator. Eight. That is that is our uh, first problem done. The second one is five and two six. So uh, remember first. Multiply six and five, and the or the whole number and the denominator. So the answer is thirty. The answer is thirty. Plus, plus two is three two. So the answer is three two. Copy the denominator, which is six. So. There and boom. That's your answer. Three, two out of six. Multiply eight and one. That is so that so the answer is eight plus six. Add eight and six. The answer is fourteen. Copy the denominator, and your answer is is fourteen out of eight, eight or fourteen eighths. Okay. We are gonna do two more. So two more problems. We have fourth the problem three and six and six nines. Three times three times nine. The answer is twenty-seven. Add six. So the answer is thirty-three out of six. So yeah, your answer is thirty-three out of six. So this is gonna be our last problem. The three and uh, one third. So you have to multiply six and three, which is eighteen plus one. Copy the denom copy the denominator once again. So your answer is nineteen out of three or nineteen thirds. So guys, I hope these tips help you guys. Thanks for watching this video.